So the first bead, probably gonna do it about, I don't know, make it easy, like 75% of the nail. <clears throat> so I try to treat the first bead like how I would be doing like the cuticle, so I still kind of push it down onto the nail up there and then I'll just drag it down so if you notice on the side try to leave a little bit extra acrylic there so I try not to drag that part down here she usually waits about how many weeks six six weeks <clears throat> see if you guys notice from the side I left it up a little higher right there so this second bead right here I'm gonna grab a lot smaller bead Take care of the cuticle. And then when I clean the sides like that, I go back and I use the tip, the tip of the brush and I pat it down again. <clears throat> Same goes on this side. See how I clean this side? And then I tap it down. Because sometimes when you're cleaning the sides, it separates the acrylic from the natural nail. See? Just kind of just pat it down. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the side view. See? So. I used um, natural tips, but what I did is I kind of pinched them like so. So same thing, I want to wet, <clears throat> wet the surface a little bit with monomer. I've already put Bond-Aid and I've already put primer on. So I take the first bead. I start about 70, 75% of the nail. So this part up here, I like to make a little bit lower. Sometimes when you make that a little bit higher, when you put your second bead on there, you'll see this. You'll see it underneath, underneath your second bead. So you never want to have this part right here, that transition from the natural nail to the to the first bead. You don't want that too, too high. Because when you put the second bead on, you're gonna see it underneath. This one? Yeah. Mm, no. Where do you get that one? Mm, so I use that one. Uh, Amazon. I got that one on Amazon. Oh, yeah. I oh, know it doesn't tip more, but that's why I like it. I'm used to it. Yeah. The plus, you don't need to put that much liquid, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. So the second bead here, I'm going to wet the surface a little bit. Is it made for the liquid? Or? So we just lay it. I don't think so. So we take care of the cuticle area. Like so.
You see it? And I want to drag the left, the right side, and then the left side. See? I don't know if you guys notice I'm not taking the brush and going over the whole nail. I'm, I, I left this part a little higher because I want that part a little higher. That's the apex. <clears throat> so once again, I'm gonna go and clean the uh, acrylic that drip and seep down through the sides. And then after I do so, I wanna pat that down. Same goes on this side too. I wanna pat it down. <clears throat> So once again, I used natural tips and I pinched it. So I wet the surface with some monomer. Once again, I start about 70% of the nail. Kind of pushed push that down onto the nail bed with the tip of my brush and take each side put it in the middle and I kind of lift it up just a little, push it up just a little bit and let it drain down because you see on the side I want it to be a little bit thicker right here because that's going to be where my apex is and also you want this part to your natural nail you want that to be a little bit lower because remember what I said earlier when you put the second bead on there over it, you don't want to see um, see the um, line underneath from the first bead. <clears throat> I use a size 14 brush. It's the uh, not polished brush. I love this brush. If you haven't tried this brush, you should try it out. So once again, I wet the surface a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna take care of the cuticle area the tip of the brush. So if you notice when I pull it down, I'm only pulling it down from the side right here, not all the way up because I want to leave it a little bit thicker there. And then I just use the body of the brush to hug hug the nail as I drag it down. And then I clean the sides a little bit like so. And I take it and I kind of pat down with the tip. Because when you do that, sometimes it causes separation like, like that. So you're gonna wanna just tap it, push it down a little bit. Make sure it's gonna stick to the natural nail bed.
Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to wet the surface a little bit. And we're going to grab our first bead. And we're going to put it right there. I don't know, I would have to say that's like 75%. And you just kind of just want to put the bead in the middle of the nail. And just like how you would if you're putting it by the cuticle, kind of take pretend that's another cuticle area right there. You're just going to want to make sure that's nice and smooth right there. Put the bead in the middle of the nail. Sometimes I push it up a little bit. That's what's really nice about using uh, not polished products. The consistency is like butter. second bead on so we're gonna to want to wet the surface if you guys notice I made this nice and low right here the first bead the transition from the I would have to say that's like nice and flush from the natural nail to the first bead because I'll put the second bead on you don't want to see that underneath bead I added I, I grabbed a little bit too much acrylic too big of a bead so what I do is I just kind of just take some of it with the tip of my brush see that and then I go back and take care of the cuticle area try to form the nail again create the apex Take care of the side of the nail. I'm gonna to want to pat that down again because sometimes this will cause separation. See, I always go back and I always pat it down. speed down so we're right there about 75% of the nail take care of the sides put the bead in the middle Our second bead down we're going to want to wet the surface it's a 
Pretty boring, huh, Sap? Tip the brush to take care of the cuticle area and on the sides. Now, if you guys notice, um, uh, the tip is right there, about maybe uh, I want to say like 60 70 percent of the nail. I'm using the body of the brush to drag it down. Because I don't want to start from up here and drag it down because then I'm going to lose the little, um, the thicker spot of the nail, which is called the apex. So I don't want to do that. I still want to keep that. So I clean the sides again. And then remember, I always use the tip to tap it in. Press it down, make sure it's sticking to the nail. <clears throat> so I pinched this nail a little bit. Start about 70% 70, 70 of the nail. Take care of the sides. Take care of that area. Make sure that's flush. Put the bead in the middle. So if you guys notice, that first bead I put down, you see that transition from the natural nail to right there? It's nice and flush. You want that to be nice and low because when you put your second bead on, you don't want to see that underneath that line from that first bead. I want to take care of the cuticle area. And if you guys notice, I still have the nail tilting downwards because I want the acrylic to, I want the gravity to pull it down a little bit, the acrylic. Of the sides again, and kind of push it down, take care of the other side. I just want to push it down with the tip of the brush. <clears throat> so, we're going to do this pinky here, we're going to pinch it a little bit. Towards the end of the um, of your set, you know, it's okay to use some more monomer in your in your dampening dish because sometimes the monomer gets really dirty and sticky, and that'll change the result of your application. So it's okay just to take a pause or take a moment just to make sure your brush is clean, you know. 
make sure there's not any acrylic inside your brush. So we're gonna wet the surface. See how I start about 70% of the nail? So I put the bead in the middle of the nail and let gravity pull it down a little bit. And then I'll kind of go back to that right there where the natural nail is and I want to make sure that's really flush. It's a little bit lower. So then when I put the second bead over it, I don't see that the line from the first bead. We're gonna want to wet the surface. Now if you guys noticed, you see right where the tip of my brush is, it's a little bit lower. Because you want that transition from the first bead, from the natural nail to the first bead, you want that to be nice and flush. You want that to be a little bit lower. Take care of the cuticle. Now you guys notice I have the nail tilted downwards because I don't want to flood the cuticle with the acrylic. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna take care of the side. And then we're going to take the tip of the brush and we're going to pat it down a little bit. Same goes on the other side. See that? I'm going to want to take the tip of the brush and I'm going to want to pat that down a little bit. okay sometimes if you want to just add a little bit more there's nothing wrong with that If I don't pit, pinch this tip, it'd be so wide. And then when I file the sides of the nail, I'm probably gonna file on the side and I'll probably be able to see some of the natural nail and some of the tip. And plus when you pinch this part, you know, and curve the nail a little bit, they don't break as easy. Structurally, it's, um, it's a lot stronger. So I'm gonna wanna wet the surface again. I've already put Bond-Aid and Primer on there. So we're gonna go ahead and put the first bead, about 70% of the nail. See how I take care of this part right here? See that? Take care of it with the tip, and then I'll put the bead in the middle of the nail. And sometimes when you want to shift powder around, you just use the tip of the brush. Mm -hmm. But whenever I'm dragging it down, I'm using the body of the brush. I'm 
I'm not brushing this way. I'm using the body. Sometimes I'll come back and I'll pat that side down a little bit. So I'm gonna wet the surface again and I'm gonna grab the second bead. Oops, excuse me. So you're gonna wanna just take care of the cuticles area with the tip of the brush, you're gonna to wanna to just kinda of push it down. And I have the nail tilted downwards because I want the acrylic to come downwards. I want gravity to pull it downwards. If it goes that way, it's gonna go all over the cuticle. to clean the side and I'm going to take the tip of the tip of the brush and I'm going to want to pat that down again. 